when I had my second baby, I looked into her eyes and I thought, I don't really know how to do this. I worked so hard and I know you're working so hard. So I am so excited to show you really pretty simple though sophisticated ways to get out. So first, there's an entire layer of money that you don't see in most eight-figure entrepreneurs' businesses. Quite frankly, if you talk to the men about how they're making the money, it's not the surface stuff that you see when you look at your competitors out there doing their launches, their live events, their affiliates, their da 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 da, -da, -da right? So the most important thing that I think that you want to learn is that there are a number of things that you can do to increase your income that don't involve working harder and aren't the things that you're thinking of. So let's dive in and take a look at them. What do you say? I have a very good friend who makes an awful lot of money who I said, so I want to sell my business. How do I position my business so I can sell it? What do I do with my website? What are all of those pieces? And God bless him. He said to me, there is no other business where you can just decide to make X amount of dollars. It was a lot of <laughs> amount of dollars that he was saying, and it was true. He said, don't position to sell. What you want to do is make as much income as you can from your current business, and then think about investing in real estate, like do investment properties, etc. So when we start to look at retirement, like have you thought about your retirement? How much money is in your retirement? I mean, we could go down the whole road of profit. What you want to think about is ways to really take your business to the next level. So here are some of those ways. It's like so fun to give away all of this information, like here. So first, you want to take a look at your intellectual property and the things that you're already doing. I'm certain that there are systems that are involved there. Brilliant systems born of a life of a lot of training, a lot of hard work, and something that is exquisitely special that only you do. So for instance, I teach people sales, right? I teach people how to build a business that doesn't require much time, has a lot of grace and ease, and really affects change in the world. There's a system to that. If I take that system and if I give it to someone else and if I say, here, you can do this in your business also, what you need is X, Y, and Z. I can license that IP to them. I mean, think how many hours and how much money and how many years it's going to save them if I show them exactly what I do in my business. And you can do royalties based on that, right? Like I don't need to coach. I don't need to anything. I simply give them the secret sauce, allow them to use it and receive a percentage based on what they make from it. It involves a contract. Really that's all the work that's involved. So people talk about leverage. But let's talk about what really creates cash. If I showed you the way that my business makes money, you could make so much money, it's worth an awful lot more than anything else that I can do with you, right? So if you contemplate pieces like royalties, licensing, intellectual property, etc., that's where the real money is made. That's the invisible money that you don't see. When you see someone's big launch or tour or Twitter account with all of their followers, they're not making bank from Twitter, right? So you want to think, and we'll get to this, which is my favorite one at the end, but you do want to think about what is the highest level that I can serve at, right? So helpful. Number two, the second thing that we need to think about, which sometimes we also can't see, but is pretty available because I'm going to tell you, <laughs> is your business model. So when we look at other people who are doing well, when we look at the role models that we have, there are some flaws. And I don't mean to say anything that's unkind about anyone, but people who are making a lot of money now, the pieces that you see in their business are things that are built on an email list that's 150,000 people, right? Or it's something that they did two years ago and they've acclimated their tribe to receiving something in a certain format so they know that it's tried and true and that it sells that way. But when you're at six figures, for instance, and you're looking at someone who's further along the line, you think, well, if I emulate what they're doing from the outside, then it should go really well. It's like when I first started as an entrepreneur, I thought, well, if I give the speech they give on stage, I'm going to sell a lot of money. But what I didn't realize, right, 
is that they really have a sales machine behind the scenes. There are a lot of people who aren't even very good at sales on stage, but they've got either a huge email list or they've got really good salespeople or they've got an excellent marketing team. And so their money is really coming in from that place and that's what they're leaning on. So it's like when we were little kids, right? And we saw somebody who had fancy shoes and we thought they must have all the money in the world. Then when I worked on Madison Avenue, I would have people who would come in and look like they were homeless and they would have the most cash. So you and I know not to be fooled by that these days, right? So business-wise, we, we need not to be fooled by old school, right? There's a new school way. And here are some of those pieces. I wish I could give it all to you right now. It takes a little bit more than that, but it's actually not that complicated. So here are the things you need to know. You want to look at things like, it's so fun to give, it like freaks me out to give it away. I spent so much time and energy getting this information, but I needed it so desperately that I don't care. I'm going to give it to you. Like, there's a secret for you. Like, give until it freaks you out, right? Because it so always comes back exponentially. So, entrusting that. Rolling enrollment. The whole launch thing that we're used to, the adrenaline fueled, like I'm gonna work my rear end off for this many weeks and I'm gonna get so many affiliates and I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. It's exhausting, first of all. It's not very kind and it's not something that you're gonna to wanna to do for the rest of your days. It also doesn't really work. If you have a program that people can step into at any point, there's no pressure. Like go to Bermuda, turn your leads off, and hang out. And then when you come back, like turn them on or get a sales team who can cover for you when you're in, your, in Bermuda. So if you have rolling enrollment with a really great offer, obviously, like if it's a bad offer, rolling enrollment won't work. And there are a few things that you need to handle, but they're not unintuitive about how you handle rolling enrollment. You know, it's like the question that I get when people go to a higher level and serve people at a better level and charge a bit more for it. They're like, but what if I do it in a group format and what if only one person comes? Like, if I signed up for a retreat with Buddha and I was the only person who went, I'd be freaking happy, right? Like, special attention for me. So the stuff that gets between us and understanding how to do this is often the emotion, it's often, our own stuff, right? The real truth about why you're stuck at six figures is because that's the point that you're acclimated to. If we're really honest, and not to get too woo-woo, but I bet a couple generations back the people in your family worked really hard, right? Like I know, God bless my grandfather, right? Like cattle farmer, super hard worker, like my great-grandmother and my grandmother would cook hot meals for 40 farmhands every afternoon for lunch. I don't come by hard work accidentally. And if you think a couple generations from now, if that's what you want here in the world, that people think they work themselves to the bone and they take home limited abundance, right? Like we're breaking it for a lineage of people it's super important. I say super everything to my kids. My son always goes, Mama, I'm super tired. So super important, Henry. So you want to look at your business model and you want to create it in a way where it doesn't require as much time. I was at a retreat this weekend with the folks in my mastermind and I had someone there and I said, do it like I've done it. Write it down on paper what your life involves. All the time you need for you, right? And then look at the time that you have left over, figure out how much money you wanna make, and figure out how much you can make that much money in that, did I say that right? How you can make that much money in that much time, exactly right. I did that at the diner with my kids on crayons on the back of a napkin, and it was like one of the smartest things I ever did. So, rolling enrollment absolutely positively works. Getting a sales team, right? absolutely positively works if you know how to manage the sales team or certainly hire someone who does, right? Sales teams, I did sales for 20 years, God bless them, are like wild horses. It is extraordinarily difficult to, to manage people like me when I was a salesperson. So there are things that you need to do to tweak it, but you know, I have clients who go on vacation and make a lot of money and they're not doing much but being on vacation. So you have to be smart about the business model that you've set up. If you think about 
the model, it makes me really sad because if you think about the model you have right now, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna burn out if you're not already. If you're watching this video, you're probably exhausted. I'm certain you've thought about throwing in the towel two or three times. You have transferable skills. You've been a success before. You've built this entrepreneurial business in a place where it's extraordinarily hard to do it. You could totally get a job or do something else that's creative, right, to make a lot of cash. But then I wanna to talk to you about number three. This is the part I'm most passionate about. That thing that you lay in bed at night thinking about, that you think, man, I'm really meant to do that, is really what you're meant to do. And that doesn't mean letting go of your business. It doesn't mean like, I think I'm moving to Bali, but it doesn't mean I move to Bali and like get a job at a natural food store, right? You have gifts that are expressed through your business that could be used at a higher level. Now, let's not be confused about a couple of things because this is always what happens. We think, well, my heart is with abused children. So I'm just gonna quit everything and like go help them. Like my heart for me is really moved by the fact that a million children every year die because they don't know proper breastfeeding techniques, right? So people in third world countries are feeding their kids water out of like the ground and it's killing them. I am not the person to go to the third world country and show people how to breastfeed. I totally, to be completely transparent, needed a lactation consultant. I'm probably the worst person in the world to go show those people how to do that. However, can I make enough money in my business so that I can pay for people to go do that? Absolutely. Is that my heart? Do I care about that beyond belief? It's a million kids every year is hugely important. So when we talk about where your heart is and serving at your highest level, you need to be smart about it, right? I often think, and I, I think I'm gonna do this, and I would love this if you would let me know your contribution to this. But if we all took the gifts that we have, wrote them on a piece of paper, threw them in a bowl, and decided to use those gifts to change the world, together we could do flipping anything, right? So use the skills that you have at the highest possible level that you can, and from the overflow, change the world. Now, that sounds like awesome. How the heck do I do that? So here are some thoughts, right? Oh man, it moves me. I have a client who spent a week with me making sales, and we're not gonna talk about the money. It was a lot of money, right? It works really well, sitting with me and making sales. The most profound moment to me and to her was when she got on the line with someone who is doing a specific scientific technique that had saved 500 babies' lives already. And she happened to know the right person to connect them with to make a total change in this woman's life. And did this woman need business advice? You better flip and believe it. Did this woman need the email of the person that she connected them with? Absolutely. Was there anyone else in the entire world that was meant to be the middle woman there? No, it's complete divine appointment, right? So when you look at your offers and when you think, if I relaunch this thing that I did last year, this year, I know I can make this much money and my clients drive me a little bit crazy and I'm not really satisfied from this, but like I get to go to the PTA meeting and I feel sort of cool and I buy some nice shoes, like that's selling out. I hear people all the time who say, I can't, I have integrity, I won't send that email, Lindsay. I can't, I have integrity, I won't, blah, blah, blah. I can't, I have integrity, I won't increase what I sell in terms of pricing. And I am not the queen of like slap a zero on it and charge more money, but I am the queen of this. If you are not serving at your highest level, you are taking up space and like get off. There are so many people who need you. Think of the greatest transformation that you could make to someone. And I am not 
we're not going to the place of, yeah, but all my clients haven't gotten results because I have a lot of weight loss videos that I never did and I am not mad at anyone that I bought that from. You're thinking that there's something wrong with you gets reflected back to you because you feel like you didn't get results from someone and that's yours. That's not even theirs. So know that, I mean, how many things have you done where you didn't implement and you didn't get results? Plenty of people will not get results. That's not what we're talking about here. If you had someone who did exactly what you said, and if you served at the highest level you possibly could, and if you taught them the very best things, like the stuff that makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm scared to offer that, that is what you're meant to be offering. And I double dog dare you to put a price tag on that. How much is that worth? Because I know you, I know what kind of results you get for people. The thing that people say to me is that I saved their lives. Did you ever click on this video thinking I need my life saved? I'm going to let Lindsay Wilson save my life. Here we go. No, absolutely not. The results that you're getting for people, I wish they were as simple as like a better email marketing funnel. That's not what's cooking. You've been called. I'm sorry. It's the truth. You're here to change people's lives. And I'm just going to go out on a limb here for a moment and I'll join you, right? Like how many babies have died since we started talking today? So I think we should make a pledge that we're going to do it. Certainly my intention, I could use your support and I'd be happy to do it with you too. So if it is appealing to you, to change the way you're doing business. If it is appealing to you to not be stuck, right? Like you're not a stuck person. What the heck are you doing feeling stuck? Like unstick yourself and I'm happy to help you. You can click the link below. We will walk you hand in hand through specifically in your business, what you should do to get unstuck. If you're simply scared from listening to this and you think, oh my Lord, I don't even know what to do, but what she's saying is speaking to me, we're happy to look at what is a marketable thing that you could do that would make impact and make money in the world. And also, if you just want a little fame or like whatever the accoutrements are, <laughs> some nice shoes, we can probably figure out a way for you to get that too. But there are specific things in your business that a video like this obviously won't address, right? So it's our gift to you in honor of Olivia when she was born and me seriously not knowing how to do it and having no one show me, I would be thrilled to show you. And it is not a sales call. I am extraordinarily picky about who I work with. You have to implement because if not, there are a lot of people behind you who are ready to do this. So click below. If you know, that you're here to do more. And if you're completely convinced that you simply need new tools or you need to know what to move around, like what do I do with all the people in my current program when I start to offer, you know, walking on water lessons, <laughs> we'll show you all of that, right? And if that's you, we can't wait to help.